I'm Clark. Today I will show you how to make a UART RX interrupt on a ESP8266. If you have been googling around, you will know there, there are quite a lot of questions about this topic, but there are no answers on the internet. Today I will show you how to do that. You will be quick. Don't forget to follow us for more interesting tutorials. As you can see in this demo, our product, the Clarkwise touchscreen, is communicating with the MCU, uh, the ESP8266 in this case, uh, with UART, and uh, in other cases you can you can use the uh, Arduino Nano to communicate with the Clarkwise touchscreen. But when using when we are using Arduino device, we can use a built-in UART interrupt. It's called void serial event is a built-in interrupt so every time there is a uart message come in to rx pin on a arduino like nano uh this code this function will execute will be executed but if you try this one uh, and on arduino ide ide you will find out it's not possible it's not working at all so today i will show you how to make it in a really quick way so first, uh, uh, let's uh, visit clarkwise.cc and find the blog. You can find the blog link in the YouTube description section. And uh, we need three steps uh, to make it. First, we copy the handler to your code. Uh, and the first half, we need to include a header here. So, paste the header. And uh, then the uh, uh, UART RX interrupt handler. This is the uh, uh, this is actually the uh, handler from the technical reference here. The the UART introduction uh, example of interrupt handler process here. Uh, I modified a little bit to make it work better in a real. ID, and uh, then we create our own uh, callback function. It's very simple. Let's like say, uh, uh, void callback, and uh, so this, and then we put our callback function uh, into like here, uh, key out, timeout, interrupt. And uh, let's uh, comment this line. Okay, now we upload. Oh, sorry. Uh, now we go to the step three. Install the handler. But before that, you have to make sure your callback function has no delay or yield inside, and it has to be, it has to be short. I mean, uh, running less than one microseconds. And uh, that's very important. You can find out this stuff here in, here in the uh, Arduino ESP8266 uh, official documentation uh, reference. Uh, you can find them out here. But today, uh, let's focus on how to make it work here first. And uh, then we install the handler. So we copy this. And we paste here, and then we call this uh, function in the setup. And there we go. Now it's working. Let's upload it. All right. Let's uh, turn on the serial monitor. Input something. See, it's working. Also, there are something uh, very important I had to uh, let you know first. Uh, uh, first, you cannot use the uh, read uh, serial read string function here. You you can't do something like this. There is a delay inside read string function, so you cannot use this. Uh, for me, I prefer to use the uh, mo most original way, 
like this. We read uh, every single byte from the register directly, from the buffer directly. And uh, we create this R as the uh, return. So if we want to deal with the return, the R is the return. Let's do this. Now we upload it. All right, it's done. Now we put something here. See, there is a uh, print back uh, here. We input something else, and there is another print back. So this is how it works. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.